Hey guys, I know it's been a while but we're finally back and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple pause menu such as the one you see here on screen where you can click the resume game uh, button to resume the game or the quit button to quit the game. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Now before we get started there's a couple things we need to keep in mind and that is I already created a GUI scene which is just a canvas layer which I renamed to GUI and my pause menu is a child of it. Then over in my world scene my GUI is a child of my world. Then in the inspector of my GUI the I set the GUI to layer 1 so that it's above everything that way my pause menu is on top of everything. And like I said my pause menu is a child of the GUI. So anyway with all that said let's actually create my pause menu so go ahead and create a new scene and make it a user interface and then just simply rename it to pause menu in this case I called it pause menu 2 since I already have a pause menu for this game. Anyway we're gonna go ahead and add a color rect as a child of the pause menu and then I'm going to layout and then doing full rect. In the inspector I want to set the color and in this case I'm gonna be using a dark color that looks fine to me and then I'm giving it an alpha value that way it's a little bit transparent. Then with the color X selected, I'm just going to simply rename it to background so that I can easily tell what it is later on. Then with my pause menu selected, I'm going to go ahead and actually add a center container as a child of it, go to layout and do full rect once more. Then as a child of the center container, I'm going to go ahead and add a V-Bucks container. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a button as a child of my VBEX container and I'm gonna go ahead and add another button of my as a child of v, my VBEX container so make sure that's actually a child of the VBEX container not your button then I'm just gonna select my first button and go to the inspector and in the text field I'm gonna say resume game then for my uh, first button I'm actually gonna rename it to resume button so I can tell what it is and while I'm at it I might as well do this for my second button so it's just gonna be called quit button in this case and the inspector in the text field I'm gonna just have it say quit and that looks all good to me now I wanna go ahead and actually add my label to my VBox container so go ahead and add a label to your VBox container and there's actually two different labels in Godot and that is the normal label and a rich text label. A rich text label you can use to do more fancy stuff with your text such as waves but in this case we're going to keep it simple and we're just going to use a normal label and then we're going to make sure that it's actually above our uh, first button that way it's at the top and then the inspector I'm just going to have it say paused and then align to center and be aligned to center and that actually looks good to me there now let's say I want to increase the spacing I can select my VBox container go to the inspector do custom constraints and then set the separation to something higher in this case I I think 10 should look good. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Now, what if I want more spacing between my past and resume game? Well, I can go ahead and actually add a control node as a child of my VBUX container and then move it between the label and resume button. And as you see there, the spacing between the past and the resume game button increased. And then if I want to increase that spacing further, I can go into the inspector, rect, and set a min size in the Y for the control node. But that's a little bit too much so I'm just gonna have it be default and this actually looks good to me now I am actually gonna assign a custom theme that I made to my pass menu uh, just to make it look a little bit better you can go ahead and do this on your own if you want so I'm just gonna go in over into the inspector theme click on the load option for the theme go over to where my theme is saved and there I go I applied the default theme that I created beforehand and I think this looks good but I want a little bit more spacing for my button so I'm gonna select my resume game button go over to rect and the inspector and then set the min size for the X to something like 70 um, let's try 75 and yeah that looks good to me so yeah with that we have our post menu made at least the interface of it now we actually want to add code to it so go ahead and add a script to the post menu it's just going to be an empty script and then I'm just going to call it post menu 2 in my case you can call it whatever you want and then just go ahead and save it now to actually get started with the code we're simply going to set a var and it's going to be a var called is paused and it's going to be set to false by default and it's actually going to be a set get variable so we want to make sure we use set get and then set 
underscore is underscore pos. And to stop getting an error, we want to actually set a function for this. So func set is pos. And then we want to make sure we actually pass a value into the parentheses because uh, that's how uh, set getters work in Godot. So if we're going to do is post is equal to the value that our set is post function is taking in and then get tree dot post is equal to is underscore post. And then I'm actually going to make sure that I actually save my scene. Uh, so make sure you actually save your scene uh, before you continue. Anyway, uh, to actually make the pause work and let me actually look at my uh, scene here. So yeah, so by default we want the pause menu to be hidden and then we're actually going to show the pause menu through our code and we're going to show it in the set is pause function. So in the uh, set is pause function we just want to do visible is equal to is paused. Then to actually get the pause menu to work we need a key to press in order to have it, you know, show. So we're going to use an unhandled input function in this case, and then we're going to add an if statement. So if event that is action pressed, and then the action we're going to use is pause, which is a uh, action that I already defined. So if you go into your settings, input map, and I scroll down, you will see that I already have that action defined. You can go ahead and define it in your case if you don't have an action already made. And then just click the add button to add it, and then the plus button here to assign a key, joy button, or whatever you want. I'm not going to go ahead and do that since I already have the pause action defined. So in the if statement here, we're just going to do self dot is paused is equal to uh, exclamation point is paused. So basically not is paused. So we're using self here so that we can actually go through the set is paused function because we're, you know, doing this in the same script. And then the not is pause there's basically gonna show it's basically gonna assign the is pause to the opposite. So if it's false, it's gonna be true. If it's true, it's gonna be false each time we press the pause action button. So it's basically gonna toggle between uh, true and false by doing that. Anyway, I'm actually gonna show my pause menu again so I can actually see the pause menu. And then I wanna actually select the resume button, go over to node signals, and connect a press signal to my pause menu. And then inside the function that that signal created, I want to do self that is paused is equal to false in this case uh, because the resume button is just gonna set our it's gonna set pause to false and it doesn't need to toggle. And then we want to also connect a signal for our quit button. And inside this function, we're just gonna do get tree dot quit, and then that's just gonna quit our game. Anyway. Uh, that actually does it mainly for all the code that we need. So I'm just going to go over to my GUI scene, which like I said, is just a canvas layer. And then I'm just going to remove the current pause menu that I have. And I'm going to instance in the new pause menu, uh, which is pause menu two in my case into the scene. And then I'm just going to move it above the Pocky collected uh, control node that I have. Uh, that way I can easily see what, uh, how many devs and stuff I have in this game. And then in my world, I want to, like I said, make sure that the GUI is actually set in the inspector to layer one so that it's actually above everything in the game. That way our pause menu is above everything in our game. So if we actually go ahead and actually test this now, and let me just make sure everything's fine. I think everything's fine. So if we actually test it and we press the post action button, you will see that the post menu actually appears, but there's a slight issue where our post menu, we can't actually interact with it because it's also post. So in order to fix this issue, we want to go to our post menu scene, select our post menu, and then in the inspector, we want to find the option post mode and then set this to process. And this is going to make sure that we can actually interact with the post menu. So if we actually test the scene out now, you will notice that we can actually toggle between paused and unpaused and we can press the resume game button and we can even press the quit button so everything is working so there you go your pause menu is set and ready to use in your game so hopefully you found this video helpful i know it's been a while since i last uploaded the video so i'm hoping to get a more reg regular schedule going so hopefully i'm planning on releasing at least one tutorial every other week ideally one new tutorial a week but there's a couple projects that i'm working on that um, might prevent me from releasing a new tutorial every week so the best uh, thing is going to be a new tutorial every other week so anyway with all that said 
Uh, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed the video, you, you found it helpful. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing as it helps the channel out. And with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, guys.